Well, I'm going to cut back the brambles that are in approaching on my plot here and I may prune the trees slightly but it's just kind of getting a bit of a mess with the brambles coming over it's not too bad there but around here I don't like it well I've slightly pruned the pear tree in the corner it only needed a little bit next I need to do this beast. It's too high. Any dead, diseased, or crossing branches uh, will go. I need to let air get into the middle of it. I'm no expert, I'm just having a go. It's better than nothing. Well, that's that one. I think I'm okay with the shape. There's nothing crossing, it's a bit more open uh, and it's not getting in my way when I go past. So, I know it's hard to see in this light, there, it's a bit better. So I'm happy with behind the fence here being cut back, it's a lot more manageable now those fence panels never worked they fell down they're just becoming wildlife habitat now well it's gone pretty dull now so and it's getting cold so i'm gonna be off home i've done another coat of paint in the shed i've um chopped up weeds you know old brassicas and put them in the compost and I've pruned the fruit trees so I think that's the job done thanks for watching bye for now it was a cold one last night I don't know if you can see minus 7.2 so very very chilly last night hello Good morning. So this is my sour cherry tree. You know, cooking cherries. I never get to eat the cherries and it's in the wrong place so I'm going to cut it down. Well, maybe not the big stump yet but all of that grows there. So here goes. Oh, it's hard work. I've got this far. I could cut the bigger branches with a circular saw. I say the you know, branches as opposed to the main stem. But uh, this main stem, it's got splits in it. Some of it's a bit rotten, so the tree's rotting anyway. But yeah, this, this bottom bit of it is hard work to get out. I think I'll have a re small rest and then try again. Well, I've cut back anything that's kind of dead looking so this looks a little bit tidier trimmed it slightly at the edge of the pond there on a warmer day when there's not ice I'll try and fish out the excess leaves that have fallen into there but yeah not looking too bad that's what I pulled out from the bed so it was needed. Well, I did it. Took ages. Well, that's what's left. So, I think this tree had been in. If I've had the plot, this is my 15th year. Probably 12 or 13 years. So, quite a stump. Now, what I'm going to do with this stump... I saw it on another YouTuber's channel, but I can't remember which one. I'm going to put a compost bin over it, so it blocks out the light, put compost in there. And after a few years, it should have rotted the stump away, which will save me trying to chop it up. So that's what I'm gonna try. So it's not perfect. The front of the compost bin is not the correct 
bit to block it, but I've got a bit of compost bag behind it. I've got string around it to hold it there. The lid's okay. Now I've just got to gradually fill it up with compost. So I got the compost bin from over by the communal compost base. There's about five or six compost bins that are not, well, there's a couple that are complete, but those were too big for what I wanted. The rest of them have got like either a lid missing or a front missing, but I think that will work. And after a few years of it rotting down, then I can put the compost bin back and then somebody else can uh, use it if they want. But it's only a small site, so most of them don't get used. But it's free and it serves my purpose. Well, it's not quite what I thought I was going to do today, but I've pruned a bit on the uh, trees, cut the tree down, uh, done a bit of weeding, and put the compost bin on top of the stump. I'm happy to get that done. It's a job I've been meaning to do for ages. So yeah, I think given how cold it is, I'm gonna go home. Thanks for watching, bye for now.